So today, I've literally spent all day getting this shed complete. And there she be, in all her glory. Looks pretty good, huh? Double doors, Dutch barn styly. Let's go inside. Yeah, a little bit dark, but friggin' spacious. If I come into one corner, I think there is plenty of room in here for everything that I need to store at home, which, quite frankly, ain't a lot. Uh, I've just got the floor to sort out. I'll probably take those slabs up and extend this kind of, uh, whatever you want to call it, brick built section. The chicks have laid eggs today again as well, which is a good thing. Uh, I think we've had four today. So they're back in action. You're letting us know, aren't you girls, that you're extremely happy with your new residence. Also painted the frame and the glass a little bit. And I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, I removed the nest box cover because they were laying eggs in that corner. And today, you can probably still see the imprint, they've laid eggs in the middle one. Which is good news indeed. But the job ain't over yet. So we're probably going to get rid of the old chicken run. I'll see, I'll see. I'm hesitant at the moment because we're hatching these new chicks out. And then all this grass, which is basically foobard, I want to try and level this out a little bit because it's an awful slope into that corner. So we'll probably be digging this up at some point doing something with it. I don't know what exactly, but something needs to happen. We're having a little walk, aren't we, Reg? It's about half past uh, ten, I think. The town is eerily silent, apart from one car taking a shortcut. Here's the, here's the pub, the marquee. The marina all sat silent. It's the first night time walk I've done during lockdown actually and everything's really quite eerie. I've already said that. I think I did. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god, see the lights are off. Still gotta finish the tiling out front, but it's looking a lot better than it was. Um, this is George's place next door. This is where the old brew shed was. Looks good, doesn't it? There's the brewery, locked up. We'll not go in there. Right, next job. Something's blown on this treadmill that we've got. Uh, I noticed that the, uh, the glass fuse on the motor control board's gone. They're a couple of quid each, so for like five, so I think, so I'll order some of them. Um, Gemma's bringing me a car battery home from work, which we've got knocking around. I was going to bring that back to play around with a solar panel that I've got for an automatic opening of the chicken's coop door. But I can also use it to see if this DC motor is faulty or not, and then I'm going to take off the uh, motor control circuit board there and have a look on the back see if there's any blown tracks and probably see if I can troubleshoot it I think if anything if it's not the motor then probably a MOSFET or something's gone on that control board I can't see anything from the front apart from the blown fuse which is missing by the way that just kind of goes in that little tray there but if I can have a look at the back I'm sure I'll be able to see any blown tracks a little bit easier. So as you can see from the scratches on the worktop, <laughs> I've had this baby apart. I've just put it back together again now and I can't see any actual damage on here. So we've got a couple of MOSFETs over here. Two big boys, well one big one and another one on the back there. 
and they have their own independent heat sinking so I think these are the boys that are doing the switching of the high voltage high direct current voltage going into the motor itself this big boy capacitor looks fine this one does inside here we will we will have the brain box and uh, there's the uh, bridge rectifier all the diodes on that seem like they're in good condition I can't see any blown um, resistors I think this is a thermal trip an NTC um, kind of thermal uh, fuse if you like but apart from the fact that this glass fuse is definitely gone I can't see anything else so it's making me lean towards we've got a shorted winding on the motor but I'm not sure I can't test any of these components because at home I only have this little cheapy multimeter and I can't measure the capacitance I'll probably have to desolder some of these components to do that anyway but I'll be better off taking this to work and getting the fluke on it and uh, having a look if uh, everything's alright but I don't think it's a capacitor that's gone because we've got a blown fuse it's leading me to believe that these are short or a popped transistor of some type there we go if you're into this kind of stuff you're into it kinda looks like a city doesn't it I love them circuit boards they look great so quick update on treadmill tested it we bought some new fuses put the fuses in there tested it it ran and then as soon as I put any load on that motor the motor was running it also ran with the 12 volt battery as well but as soon as I put any load on the motor uh, boom knocked the electric off and it tripped the RCD so I think there's a short on the winding insulation which when there's load on the motor causes the motor to go uh, high ampage to keep up and that high current is enough to jump the gap and short to the chassis somewhere and obviously kill it so this whole thing you know a motor is 140 quid for this even on eBay and the whole thing was less than 60 pound off eBay originally so we're just gonna throw it in the scrap it's unfortunate we don't really have much luck with treadmills aka clothes horses as they are often known in our house but we're gonna have to scrap it I think and you know I might see if I can salvage a few parts but it's mainly steel so I might be able to weigh it in get a couple of quid who knows but that's it that's gone anyway anywho just watching guys i'll see you on the next one it should be out soon